Welcome to our program, The China Briefing. Today, we dive into the heated atmosphere of the recent US vice presidential debate, where Tim Walls and J.D. Vance clashed over immigration policies and their respective running mates. With the stakes high in this closely contested presidential race, both candidates took jabs at each other, revealing the intensity of the political landscape as the election approaches. In a heartwarming story, we celebrate Nina Pushkana, an 81-year-old former schoolteacher who has dedicated her life to helping immigrants in Hong Kong. Despite battling stage 3 breast cancer, Nina continues to serve as the president of the Hong Kong Interpreters and Translators Association. Her resilience and contributions to the community have earned her recognition as a finalist for the Spirit of Hong Kong Awards, showcasing the power of determination and compassion. Lastly, we are thrilled to announce that Alisa Kamplin Warner has been appointed as Australia's first female chef de mission for the upcoming Winter Olympics in Milan Cortina 2026. A pioneering aerial skier herself, Alisa aims to foster a supportive environment for athletes as they prepare for the Games. With Australia's impressive winter sports history and a record number of World Cup medals this season, the excitement is building for what promises to be an exhilarating Olympic experience. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. The Globe and Mail reports on a heated vice presidential debate between Tim Walls and J.D. Vance, where both candidates engaged in a fierce exchange over immigration and their respective presidential running mates. Walls, the Democratic governor of Minnesota, launched a scathing attack on Donald Trump's leadership, highlighting his failures on immigration and trade, while Vance defended Trump's foreign policy, claiming it brought peace. The debate, which occurred amidst rising tensions in the Middle East, saw both candidates attempting to discredit each other's records, with Vance clashing with the moderator over fact-checking and Walls stumbling over his statements, particularly regarding his past comments about the Tiananmen Square incident. In a heartwarming story from the South China Morning Post, Nina Pushkana, an 81-year-old translator and interpreter, has been recognized for her unwavering dedication to helping immigrants and ethnic minorities in Hong Kong while battling cancer. After retiring from teaching, Pushkana took on the role of facilitating communication between these communities and government officials, all while navigating her own health challenges following a breast cancer diagnosis. Despite undergoing treatment and caring for her ill husband, she continued to work, finding strength in her profession and the support of her family and friends. Her resilience has earned her a nomination for the Spirit of Hong Kong Awards, celebrating her remarkable contributions and inspiring others through her mantra of overcoming adversity. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation highlights the appointment of Alisa Kamplin Warner as Australia's first female chef de mission for the Winter Olympics, set to take place in Milan Cortina in 2026. A former gold medalist in aerial skiing, Kamplin Warner expressed her excitement to lead the team and build on Australia's proud winter sports legacy. With a history of involvement in previous winter games and a commitment to fostering a positive team culture, she aims to create an environment where athletes can thrive. As Australia's winter sports athletes continue to achieve remarkable success, including a record-breaking number of World Cup medals, Kamplin Warner's leadership is anticipated to inspire and support the team in their Olympic journey. South China Morning Post, during the National Day Golden Week holiday, major banks in Hong Kong are rolling out enticing offerings to attract mainland clients, anticipating a surge of over 1.2 million visitors. HSBC, Citibank, DBS Hong Kong, and Bank of East Asia are extending branch hours and hosting exclusive events such as horse racing, fireworks dinners, and school tours. HSBC has partnered with top international schools to provide tours for wealthy clients, while also promoting the Capital Investment Entrance Scheme, which allows high-value investors to gain residency in Hong Kong. Standard Chartered Bank is also getting in on the action with fireworks parties and golf events, demonstrating a keen interest in catering to the lifestyle needs of their affluent clientele. South China Morning Post, the cancellation of two drone shows in Hong Kong due to safety concerns has raised eyebrows, particularly in light of Shenzhen's successful performances during the same period. The Hong Kong shows were called off just minutes before they were scheduled to begin, with authorities citing ionospheric scintillation as the cause, which disrupts GPS signals crucial for drone operation. In contrast, Shenzhen managed to proceed with its drone shows, showcasing a significant difference in how both cities handled similar challenges. 
Experts suggest that safety considerations are paramount in Hong Kong, especially given the large crowds, while mainland authorities exhibit more flexibility in adjusting show timings. South China Morning Post, a well-known Chinese actress, Deng Xia, has sparked a health debate after she shared a video of herself adding height-boosting drugs to her son's meals. Her 11-year-old son, affectionately called Big Lindsay, is shorter than his peers, prompting Deng to seek solutions through these controversial supplements. Despite the video gaining massive attention online, health professionals have strongly cautioned against the use of such products, highlighting the lack of scientific backing for their effectiveness. Experts stress that a child's growth is primarily determined by genetics and a balanced diet, warning that these supplements could pose serious health risks. The incident has ignited a heated discussion among netizens, with opinions divided on the appropriateness of Deng's actions in pursuit of her son's height. South China Morning Post reports that City University of Hong Kong, City UHK, is taking significant strides to enhance its global educational offerings by launching nine world-class flagship programs aimed at broadening students' global perspectives. Recognized as the most international university by Times Higher Education in 2024, City UHK is set to roll out these programs over two academic years, starting with four in 2024-25, including the Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine and BBA Global Business. By 2025-26, Five additional programs will be introduced, such as the Creative Arts and Technology Excellence and the International Sustainability Program. These programs promise a globally oriented curriculum, opportunities for overseas exchanges, prestigious internships, and guaranteed admission to respective PhD programs upon meeting requirements. Students like Isaac Ho and Haley Cheng have shared their enriching experiences, highlighting the focus on research and collaborative learning that sets City UHK apart. In another exciting development, South China Morning Post highlights the ambitions of Hong Kong Rugby Sevens captain James Christie as he leads his team into a new chapter. With the prestigious Hong Kong Sevens tournament relocating to Kai Tak Sports Park in 2025, Christie is determined to guide his team towards Olympic qualification and success in the World Series. Following a successful start to his captaincy, Christie faces the challenge of integrating new talents into the squad while aiming for a top-four finish in the Challenger Series next year. Reflecting on his unexpected rise to captaincy after a teammate's injury, Christie embraces the pressure and aims to emulate the leadership of his predecessor, Max Woodward. With a rich history tied to the local rugby scene, Christie is excited about the new stadium's modern facilities and the potential for an electrifying atmosphere as they strive for victory in upcoming tournaments. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Morning sunlight on the street City whispers soft and sweet Faces mix in daily grind Every story intertwined Cultures blend like colors bright Languages in the silent night On the table stories told Food and feast upon so old People living day by day In the heart they find their way Sharing moments, voices sing In this world of everything Society Entertainment
Society. 